I'd like to let you know that I picked this IPL team uh, based on pure performance of as in current performance and not so much about you know their stature in the game and their performances over the years so here goes my IPL team I'm going to open with David Warner and Bear Stow. so it's going to be Sunrise the Hyderabad's opening pair that will open in my uh, IPL Dream 11 as well uh, number three, well, I've got Joss Butler at number three because I can't, couldn't fit him at the opening position. I think he's just a fantastic player, one of the most dangerous T20 batsmen. Rishabh Pant is my number four. At number five, I'm going to have Mahindra Singh Dhoni. I mean, it's a no-brainer. He's had a fantastic IPL with the bat. He'll also be my captain, so that was a pretty easy choice. Number six, I'm going to have Hardik Pandya. That again was a very simple one. He had a sensational IPL. The last time I looked, the most ball that he's faced this IPL has been 19, but the impact that he's made has been massive. He'll also be my, you know, seam bowler, half as in he won't bowl four overs every time. So I'm having him as an optional seamer in my side as well. So Hardik Pandya is my number six. Andre Russell is my number seven. I mean, that again, you know, is a very simple decision is taken hitting to a new level not so much about the distance but the consistency of hitting Hardik Pandya and Russell both no matter what the pitch or the bowling <clears throat> what the opposition you know they are hitting was just top class and very rarely these two guys fail through the long IPL season so Russell is my number seven with the option to bowl a couple of overs as well. At number eight, I'm going to have Rashid Khan. Uh, didn't get as many wickets as uh, he normally gets, but that's because people are now planning against him. The, I'm sure in the team meeting, they're th saying that if Rashid Khan is bowling, don't take chances against him. Let's not get out to Rashid Khan and try and get more runs and play the big shots against the other bowlers. So you can see that effect on some of the, you know, very... Uh, so, uh, the top class spinner that I've seen over uh, the IPL people like Sunil Nara and Rashid Khan are, are batsmen don't go after them as much so uh, that has shown in the wicks column but he's a straight and a walk in into my IPL dream 11 for continuing to be such a game changer with the ball and a very dangerous batsman as well as we've seen a few times. Hagi Sorobada I think was one of the highlights of this IPL. I mean this guy every time he bowled he just raised the quality of cricket. His bowling was outstanding with the new ball always threatening to get a wicket and such a reliable dead bowler. Um, you know just a class act and you could see you know when Rabada bowled you saw greatness in bowling loved his commitment to the side as well and he wasn't just bowling and getting wickets he was also making an impact the match winning impact bowl all the pressure overs and in the league capitals if they found form and reached you know the last stages you know he didn't play till the very end they have to thank Kageso Rabada for bringing that X factor in their team with the ball. Imran Tahir has been around for a long time but I think this is by far the best season that he's had and uh, because he was playing a lot of matches in Chennai, you know, Dhoni played him in all the games, didn't do that last season. So what was incredible about Tahir this time was that he was economical like, uh, you know, the others also frontline spinners from other teams but he was also wicket taking. Now that's a, a great combination to have a bowler. Jasprit Bumrah has uh, become the most respected bowler in IPL so every time he bowls even in the death you get the impression that batsman is just looking to play him out and trying to get seven or eight runs and over uh, he continues to be the spearhead of Mumbai Indians now these days every time he bowls he actually overshadows Lasit Malinga who is not the prime of his career so good to see that Bumrah continues to add the kind of value that it does and what you get with Bumrah is that when the pressure is on and it's all about one over that's where you know Bumrah changes the game because his over if you're needing 14 or 15 or runs and over and if you look at all the bowlers in the IPL you might go to Bumrah even before somebody like a Rabara so he continues to be a champion bowler for Mumbai Indians and hence a very easy selection in my IPL 11. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.